Hey everybody, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, I'm gonna have this reading of how to beat this water temple. This place is so hard, I don't even have commentary for it. I'm just gonna start reading from this uh, Game Facts walkthrough. Don't even think of trying the water temple before beating the forest temple and the ice cavern. You need the bow and iron boots. Make sure to get the Zora's tunic from the king or by buying it from the Zora's do domain shop. To start, go to the bottom of Lake Hi Helia. Helia. Can't spell worse shit. Really hard, parentheses. Equip the iron boots and walk to the gate. Use the hookshot on the diamond to open the gate. Once you're inside the main room, swim over to the right and into the little passage. Make sure to de de equip the iron boots so you can swim again. And when you see the water filled hole, uh, equip the iron boots and drop down. Find the block and pull it as far as possible. Float back to the passage you enter. You can get to the compass now, so step off the edge and, of the passage and equip the iron boots and start sinking. As you sink past the middle floor, de-equip the boots and then you can swim inside it. Equip the iron boots again and use the hook shot to kill the stingers in the hallway. When you get to the spikes, just hook shot yourself over them, then hook shot onto the target on the seal. So you can get into the room. You'll see a chest blocked by a geyser. Go near it and then use hook shot to hit the diamond switch. The geyser will stop and you can take the compass. Go back to the main room and sink all the way to the f temple floor. Go to the room with the two unlit torches east side. Walk on in, walk on in and talk to Rudo. Float at, after her as far as you can. You will find the Triforce on the wall. Oh my god, this fucking walkthrough just got to Rudo? Jesus, I can get there in five seconds from entering the fucking temple. Anyways. Go near it and play Zelda's Lullaby to drain the water. Now go to the first to the door on the opposite wall. When fighting the spike in enemies, hit the hit them with your hook shot and then use the, your sword to fight it while it's in its sphere. Kill all the spikes in the room to make the chest in the, with the dungeon map appear. Now go to the place where you first met Rudo, bottom floor, and the torch is now on. But the rest are not. You can use dense fire or shoot a bow through the torch so the arrow passes the flame and hits the torch. After all, the torches are lit. The door will open. The new enemy here are shell blades. They can only be killed when they are open. You can only hurt them with your horizontal sword slashes, arrows, or hookshot blast. Hookshot blast? What the fuck is a hookshot blast? When they are all killed, open the newly appeared newly appeared the chest for what? Open the newly appeared the chest for the small key. Fucking retarded fucking person trying to try to walk through. Now, go back to the main room and go down the western part of it. Push the block that fills in the hole. Jump in after it falls. Jump in after it falls and swims. I'd say it like that because these fucking grammar stuff. Through the path to the new room. The room is easy. Just kill, just first kill the blue tech, 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 Tech titty. Now hit the switch with anything you like. A geyser will appear in the center. Jump on it and jump onto the other side. Go in the room. The next room has a lot of strong currents. Float until you reach the flat platform and sink on through to the other. Uh, blah 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 blah. Let's skip down here because I'm tired of reading that beginning shit. As you leave the le little ledge, equip the iron boots and sink down to the bottom floor of the main room. Go north past, go north part of the bottom floor of the main room and enter the little door. You know what? 
fuck this. Fuck you, Game Facts. You're boring as shit, and I don't care about your walkthroughs. And I, all I care about is talking about the Water Temple. The Water Temple's awesome. Now, watch as whenever Link, as he's wearing his blue tunic, as you can see, is jumping, oh no, go underneath this hard platform. And he has to ride things all the way up. Alright, now now watch this Link rhymes. You can still know. Never mind, he doesn't grind yet. But watch as Link jumps around like an idiot and, and falls through stuff. Where did he go? Link, Link! No! Anyways, so we're just gonna. Oh no, Link! That's not how you platform! Ah, uh, Link, you're terrible at this game! Oh no, Link! Ah. Okay, as you can see, the water temple is really hard. Like, super hard. I mean, as you can see, I just died twice. I mean, Link just died twice. Um. Up. Oh. Well, as the water temple, this place doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's not a lot of water, so it doesn't make sense. But you know, whatever. Obviously, didn't use that tutorial we just saw. Because if we did, then we'd be doing other things like getting the compass. Or even talk to Rio or some shit like that. Yep. There's some robots in water. There were not in water. This is the worst water temple I've ever seen. Yep. So, like I said before, whenever I was doing the water temple before. Kenny made me redo the water temple, so this last one apparently wasn't up to code and standard placed by the Let's Play community. So instead, I guess what I'm saying is jump up and down. No, no, but what I'm saying is Kenny, fuck you, make me have to do all this shit again. I don't want to. I don't want to do the water temple again, god damn it. Motherfucker. So, anyways, we beat the uh, water temple here, as you can see. So, let's get our medallion and head on our way. I love this medallion, because it's so blue. Alright, everybody, I'll see y'all later. To the next place.